next part of this series is looking at the wireless network quick setup uh, for the Scan and Cut CM900. Now, to begin this process, what we need to do is make sure that you have your wireless network on, you have the password for your wireless network, which will make it much easier to get connected on. So once you have all those, we just turn on the machine and we go to our settings, which is the spanner. And then we go down through the menu until we get to network and we touch the settings screen. Now, if when you get your machine, you'll see there is WLAN enable. You need to turn that to on because that will make sure that the machine can pick up your uh, wireless network. The next one down is Setup Wizard. Now, if we use the Setup Wizard, he's going to do a lot of little things for you. First one's going to happen, he's going to search for the ID of your network that you've got within the area that your machine is set up in. Now, it might take a little while for it to search for you, depending on the signal strength. But as you can see, we've picked up a couple of different menus here. One is, we've got a couple of River City ones, so we're going to take the guest one and press OK. Now, the most important thing with any wireless network is we make sure that we've got our password, but we make sure it's in, um, it's case sensitive. So you just need to make sure that where there's a capital, it needs to be a capital. Otherwise, it will not connect on to the network. Now, for all the, those people out there, the keyboard is a QWERTY keyboard, so um, it's just a matter of um, finding the letters. Now, I'm on the side, so it's taking me a little bit longer to find the letters. And if you have a symbol, you have letters, numbers, and symbols in this menu here. So you touch through until you have your symbols. So that could be punctuation, exclamations, that kind of thing. So once you have everything, you press OK, and you press Apply Settings, you answer yes. And if you put your um, password in correctly, then it'll go through and it will say connected to WLAN. Specify the Scan and Cut online setting in order to send data between Scan and Cut Canvas and this machine. So we, in, in, we continue and we say um, we're going to prepare the computer or a tablet. Okay, so what we need also to have ready for us is our computer that is logged in to Brother Scan and Cut. Now, for those of you who haven't got an account registered with um, Scan and Cut Canvas, um, it's a free, it's free, so you just go on, log in, and you make an ID and keep a password. So once you've done that, um, and you have your password and you've logged in, the next part of the screen is you log into Scan and Cut Canvas and get PIN code. Now you'll find that in the Manage Your Account segment of Scan and Cut. It'll come up with your user code and it'll have a little person in the corner. And you just need to um, go in there and the Manage Your Account details will come down. And if you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see Scan and Cut Online. And it says, I'll ask you your scanning cut number. It's got no machine at the moment. And it then says, get a pin code. So, and then it says, um, your machine will display the machine number at the bottom of the get pin code screen. Type the machine number into the area and then press the next button. So this number, and I'm just going to move the camera slightly so you can see is on my screen I don't know if you can see it so 
the that number we saw on the screen gets typed in here and then press next. So everyone's pin number will be different. Okay, the scanning card online setting has been specified, so that's gone through okay, and it's come up that my ID is the River City, so all is good now. So when I go back to my settings screen, I now have my machine registered online with my scan and cut, and it says that my pin code is there and the scan and cut online is ready. Okay, and I just press OK, and we're all good to go. Now the best part of having your machine enabled like this is that um, a wireless LA and capable scan and cut user can specify the setting which means you can transfer directly your cutting data from scan and cut canvas directly to your machine. So there's no need for you to download the file onto a USB stick and bring it to the machine. It happens wirelessly, which is a great thing. Now, some users of different models may have to pay for their activation codes to do this. Now, with this, the CM900 uh, that we have now here in, in Australia, this model here, um, we just need to function go through the functions online and we get our code. So that's really cool. So until next time, hopefully um, you'll have your machine set up and get really excited because the next lot of tutorials will be on creating new and exciting things with your new scan and cut machine. So till next time, thanks very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial.